need to talk. Cause you literally snatched my wig! How could you drop such a masterpiece that gets me in my feelings as well as makes me want to shake my rum? Like, you're a genius. That's all I have to say. The work of art. Wig snatched. Edges, I don't have any more. Like, they're gone. Do you see? My edges have vanished. They're no longer. I have no more edges left. Drake, you took them all. Give them back. <sighs> but anyway, in serious news. <sighs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi Amber. And today I'll be doing an initial reaction video to Drake's new album, Scorpion, which just dropped yesterday. Well, today. No, it dropped today at 12 p.m., but it feels like yesterday because, you know, I went to sleep. Okay, whatever. So I listened to the album probably about a calm, maybe three, four times already. So I kind of have like a little gist of my initial feelings towards the album. In my first go around, I was like sitting there trying to, you know, marinate in there. You know, mad box. It was like a flip flop between on the brink of tears. But it's okay because this album is just amazing apparently there's supposed to be two sides to the album side a and side b one side is more rap one side is more r&b and you guys know drake dips and dabbles in both so r&b drake i can listen to all day all that his um and i can listen to pop drake you know his nice for what's on this album the song in my feelings which is <laughs> very ironic because that song is a banger okay um mob ties can't take a joke that was a bop and let me see what else I gotta look cuz it's just so many 8 out of 10 is also a bop uh, it's actually a 10 out of 10 <laughs> me. <laughs> wig has been snatched edges have been taken obliterated by Drake Aubrey Graham they're, they're gone they I thought this was just about to be a little initial review of his album. No. We're about to go through his album and take the bomb Instagram captions that they have in here. And we just want to use these for the summer because we want to be stunting. We want to be flossing and fronting for the grim. So, oh, I'm just so excited. You guys know I love Drake. Last year I did my More Life review. And... His first song is called Survival. Basically like his little intro song. This is God's plan, young man. You said it yourself. I ain't even have to cut the tie. It's severed itself. <laughs> I ain't even have to cut the tie. It's severed itself. Because people really be cutting themselves off. They really do. So that was the intro song. That's a little caption that you can use. A great little sneak this <laughs> If you're into that sub life. Elevate. Well, this is not the next song, but this is another song that you can find fire captions in. Drake always comes out with these these songs that, you know, uplift your spirits and elevate you. You see what I did there? I want to thank God for working way harder than Satan. He's playing favorites. It feels amazing. I want to thank God for working harder than Satan because the devil works hard, but Drake works harder, you know? <laughs> My favorite song on that whole album is Emotionless because it's this one verse where he just literally took me and dragged me by my ponytail. He was talking about how people say um, people back home are fake and that all this other stuff but then take pictures for people for back home and front and floss. I was like, ah, oh, drag me because it, it's something that I'm about to be doing on my little travels this summer. So let's see if I can find the little part where he said it. Cause all that matter was impressing everybody she's known I know another girl that's crying out for help But her latest caption is leave me alone I know a girl happily married till she puts down the phone I know a girl that saves pictures from places she's blown To post later and make it look like she's still on the go Drake, we heard you the first time You don't have to keep dragging us We heard you loud and clear, loud and clear Mob ties, okay, I could just see Bam doing a dance to this song, Alyssa choreographing it. It just really reminds me of this one dance that she did for Showcase. I'm gonna insert like a little tiny clip so you guys can see it. But it just 
reminds me of like the way she it I just know her style fits this song. So bam, just watch out because we might be doing a song to this. you could use for captions so this is a perfect caption song I'm the chosen one and flowers never pick themselves did you hear that I'm the chosen one and the flowers never pick themselves it's dragging okay so 8 out of 10 I missed a caption that's Too rich for who yes my favorite caption off this whole my favorite one liner out of this whole whole album is in this song. Try to pay less mind. They've been keeping tabs on me like I'm paying next time. I think I said They be keeping tabs on me like I'm paying next time. Bro. Is there more is the last song on side A of Drake's album. But I think is there more is kind of like his ex well his little summary I guess from more life cuz he said is there really more to life or something like that. I don't know. But he gets a lot of captions in this song. I Only holding up I do is my end of the bargain. Only begging that I do is me begging your pardon. Only trying that I do is me trying the hardest. Only problems I do are mad problems with profit. Only line I do is lying out in the tropics. Like that's more than enough captions. Only lying I do is lying in the tropics. Only begging I do is begging your pardon. Come on, Drake. Come on. Is there more? Yes, there is more. There is more on this song. It's more on this album. It's more to go. Jaded is apparently everyone's favorite song. Raving about it gets them in their feelings. This one doesn't give me too much in my feelings as much as other songs on side B. But I do see where people are coming from. Like, it is very relatable. Um, I do like this song very much. Is there a caption in here? I don't know. It's a good song, though. I guess, yeah. So I'm not with nobody, cause I don't wanna hurt nobody. Okay. Enough of that. I don't know who motherfuckers are presenting here tonight. Hold on, hold on. I keep loving you back in. So we ought to cut up too. Next, we have Ratchet. Happy birthday. Ratchet, happy birthday, you would think is like one of those songs that's Probably like, what's those birthday songs that you hear in the club? Uh -huh. Oh, one time for the birthday, two times for the birthday. Like I thought it was gonna be like that, but it's not. Yeah, it's not for the name. We thought yeah, it was that's be what like that's that. what I that's what I thought it was gonna be, but it's not like that. So. If we got in my feelings which is um a song that you would think you would <laughs> it's a song that you would think is um gonna actually get you in your feelings but it kind of just gets you hyped Kiki, you love me, me, oh. I want you and I need you I better hear this at every single party I go to. I swear to God. Yeah, I just. In my feelings, it's a bomb. This is a banger. Like, Don't Matter to Me featuring Michael Jackson. Who knows how he got this guy? But I really do like this song. It's probably one of my favorite songs on the album. It sounds so ethereal. I love it. Dark. Woo. This is just really 
really giving me like, you know, Jamie Foxx, you know, Usher, okay? It's giving me that vibe. <laughs> And then the last song is March 14th. I don't know. It's his birthday or something? What is March 14th? But the end of this song, the melody is so beautiful. I just really like, ugh, it just sounds so good. Like, ugh. When he found out he was a father. This just in. So this <laughs> have confirmed that March 14th is when he found out he was a father. Okay. No one to guide me. I'm all alone. I was deep in my bag. Like, I was gone. I was gone. Like, it was a point of no return. That concludes my review of Drake's, well, my initial reactions, my initial review of Drake's new album, Scorpion. Check it out on Apple Music. If you don't have Apple Music already, I really don't know what is wrong with you. Like, it's only $5, and it's going to be the best $5 that you ever spent in your life. It gets me in my feelings, it gets me in my bag, it gets me hype. It just does what it needs to do as an album. And I'm so glad Drake gave us two sides. The album was great. I'm going to take my wig that was snatched. I'm going to go. I'll see you guys in my next video.